This is the knee that has kept Mark Daverin off the Dublin football team. Scars from not one but two cruciate operations have denied the Dubs and his club at Kilmacud Crooks of his services. Still, the Crooks are safely through to the next round of the Dublin Championship after this defeat of Parnells. And a new young Dublin team has made progress since winning in Kerry at the start of the league. It's gone pretty much, I'd say, to plan. You know, Pat, at the start of the year, you never set out a stall. Winning Leinster wasn't a priority. Set out a stall to make sure that they didn't get a, a like, you know, collapse like against Tyrone two years ago, or Kerry last year. And we don't, we obviously won't know until Saturday now when the big test comes, but I think it's going well, I think. It's a good league campaign and defensively they're looking a lot, a lot more solid. So you mentioned the, the defensive side of things. They are playing very defensive, almost yeah. a, a Tyrone style of football. Absolutely. Will they keep that up for Saturday? I'd imagine so, yeah. Um, basically what they're doing is the two half forwards nearly play as extra half backs, and obviously Niall Corkery from our, from our club plays that role very well. And then the other side, Brian Cullen, who's, who is a defender as well. So, and then obviously David Henry coming back again. It just makes it, it just makes them very hard to beat. To be honest with you, I think. Um, I, I, I just I just think that there'll be no, there won't be a repeat of the hammering anyway of the last couple of years. Whether they've whether they've improved enough to beat to, to beat Tyrone Kerry in this likes, but I don't know. But we'll see on Saturday. Yeah. It sounds like they're maybe trying to avoid a big defeat rather than trying to win. Yeah, I yeah, I that that nearly is. Sure. You've hit the nail on the head there. I'd say that is the the real thing is to stop the concession of big scores. Um, and then obviously with the fours they have in there, like two brogans and the likes, you know, anything can happen if if they if they kept around to twelve points, you know, with that sort of score, they, they wouldn't be too far off. I don't think. And there's no way I'm going to fall for that. In the past, it was cocky dubs, and now you're trying to pull the wool over our eyes. I don't believe that for a moment. I uh, know, I don't know. Sure, we'll see. We'll see on Saturday. It's 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 basically it's Dublin's, you know, all out final. If 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 they can come out and beat Tyrone, you know, that's progress, and that's I think that's their bottom line. I don't think all Ireland's are really on their agenda. It's just it's progress. I think is the main their main aim. So.